Hi, my name is Ekaterina Redkina, and you're watching a series of short video tutorials on how to prepare for TKT test. Today, we're talking about general information so that you know what TKT is all about. So TKT test stands for Teaching Knowledge Test, and it has five modules. There are three core modules. Module one would uh, cover language and background to language learning and teaching. Module two is about lesson planning and the use of resources. Module three covers managing and teaching um, and learning processes. Uh, so there are three core modules and two specialist modules. One is uh, for teachers who work with young learners. And the second one is for everyone who is interested in content and language integrated learning or CLIL. Why to take TKT in the first place? Well, TKT has a lot of benefits. First of all, it is flexible. All these modules are freestanding, which means that they can be taken in any order. Besides, if you decide to enroll on a TKT course, you can uh, prepare yourself as a self-study. You can join some preparation groups or you can uh, proceed with online preparation. Second point, uh, second benefit of TKT is that it's very accessible. It's offered internationally. It has no formal requirements, so anyone can do it. And it's used to different teachers. I'll talk about it in a minute. And it is globally recognized. So if you have the certificate, you uh, will uh, be able to show it anywhere in the world. And um, your colleagues and um, other teachers will know what it means. So who is TKT for? Let's talk about teachers who can take the, um, the test. TKT suits both new and experienced teachers. So it doesn't matter how much experience you have, you still can try um, to do the test. The recommended level of uh, language would be B1, though it's not tested, but uh, it's much easier for you to you know, to do the test and to um, pass it successfully if you have B1 level or above. Uh, TKT is good for teachers who work with different ages. So you might be working with young learners, with teenagers or adults. Uh, you will still find TKT very useful. And um, TKT is good for teachers who want to prove their teaching knowledge. So maybe you've been teaching for a while, but you don't have any international certificate to prove that. So TKT will be a great opportunity to do that. And finally, TKT is for teachers who want to be globally recognized, because as I said, certificate is known all over the world. Some uh, teachers might be wondering, how is TKT exam different from other certificates? Let's say CELTA, DELTA, FCE, well, let me tell you the following. TKT doesn't check your language level. Let's say uh, what FCE exam does, um, B2 certificate, or advanced certificate, or proficiency. So TKT is not for that. It doesn't check your language level. It checks your professionalism as a teacher, right? So it's very different from language, language certificates. Besides, uh, TKT has no writing or speaking part like you have it, for example, in um, language exams, right? Or you have uh, written assignments in uh, CELTA or DELTA. There is no assessed teaching practice. So you're not teaching, you're not being observed. And um, this usually happens in CELTA and in DELTA, but it doesn't happen in TPT. It has no uh, continuous assessment or coursework. So you are not um, doing any assignments. So TKT is just a test. And TKT has a limited number of task types. It means that uh, you don't, um, you shouldn't be expecting anything besides matching, multiple choice, sequencing, and odd one out, which makes it very predictable and manageable, right? So this was it about TKT in general. I hope now you have a clearer picture about the test. And um, good luck with your preparation.